When I was younger, my dad educated me about balanced diet. He talked about fruits and veggies, proteins and carbs, and how important it is to strike a balance between them all. But what the heck, I was a kid. I ended up visiting the sweets and chocolate section in the supermarket. In this season of How to Foodograph, we will be focusing on healthy eating and how to take stunning pictures of the food using our everyday phones and also our cameras. Thank you very much for having me. It is always a pleasure to come here. Uh, but right now, I'm actually seeing a lot of fruits. I can see strawberries and, and a whole lot of kiwi. What is this all about? Alright, uh, Deborah, uh, you're welcome again. Oh, but you. today, you notice that we're not doing anything with heat. We're doing things that are cold. Yeah. Um, it's a dessert, it could be breakfast, it could be taken as a drink. We're doing smoothies. I'll take the head of a smoothie. Smoothies, yes. yes. So basically, smoothies are um, puri purified foods. You know, when you eat food, it's pretty healthy. But when you not take it as a smoothie, it takes less time to be absorbed in your body. Today, I'll be using my magic bullet. My magic bullet is, if I can not describe it, magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, comes like with, magic. it comes with loads of accessories. So it makes it um, an easy tool to use to do what I want to do now. I want to do not just the two layer smoothie, but it's a three layer smoothie. You see my three layer smoothie? I don't see that. That, is, that yeah. is beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. But I'm going to do a five layer smoothie. So what I'm going to just do is basically have one layer with mango. So what is that? Mango. It's mango. It's sliced mango. I've tried to freeze it as much as my, um, should I say my generator light should allow that. <laughs> and, and all that. So I have some we, mango. We have legs. We have legs. Oh, yeah, electricity. Yeah, so we have electricity. Yeah. So I will have more purified mango. That will be at my yellow layer. I'm going to also purify some blueberries. That will represent my blue or purple layer. Okay. Actually, blueberries, I actually make it into smoothies, not blue blue. I also have cheese. Mm -hmm. That's in my yellow layer. Hello, it's please. because it's frozen, that's why it looks a little translucent. Okay. So that was going to be a silver so green layer. I also have mandarin or oranges. Mandarin. Then for my red layer, I'm going to have strawberries. Strawberries. Oops. I'm going to just again. To make my, uh, uh, I, I just want my orange or my mango to be a little lighter. So I'm going to just take any of them to then put some coconut milk in. Once you add white to something, it makes it lighter. Because they look the same color. Yeah, they are almost the same color. Oh, so I've frozen my coconut milk also. I like coconut, but not just because I like not just because of coconut seeds, right? You know coconut is quite healthy. Take um, coconut milk. So, so yeah, I do not have that little side. <laughs> That's one layer there. <laughs> I can decide to Add yogurt. I brought yogurt out here. You can put yogurt just like I added coconut milk. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. So that what your combinations are just up to you really. It's the important thing is you are able to take your um your fruits with you know nutritious milk, low fat milk or like I said coconut milk and all that. So in order for me to now make it into the layers. I'm going to start with first putting it into this cup and I want to make a rainbow color, so five layers smoothie. So I'm going to start with what, what I mean, you're my guest. I'm going to start with um, uh, the head. I'd like to get yeah, this is mango. Mango, let's start with mango. 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 So I, I basically just pull it in carefully. You know, it's in the scale. Yes, as yes. much as possible. Then I want to take the next layer that I feel is thickest. Then I want to do strawberries. Strawberry. So in order for you to do your layers and keep them on top of each other, apart from first of all making sure it's cold or frozen as much as possible. Yeah. 
you want to then spoon it in, but using it like at the edges falls rather than just trying to pour it straight. Yes. That gentle pour keeps it on. Place it on top. Yeah, just place it on top. And the you. wonderful thing is if you taste it layered smoothies before, yeah. so you can take your straw and um, take your straw and pass it through different layers. Yes. So you can actually be tasting the five different As, foods. Oh, so basically you insert the straw in it and then you just up and down. That is awesome. You talk me a new way about me drinking this mm -hmm. Maybe you think. I'm sure that every time you go out to the place where you sell food you know you want to be it. Yes, very much. With a straw. <laughs> Isn't that looking beautiful already? And it's just three layers. That's three layers. Then we put the meat. And I'm just trying to see which one is sort of thicker. They're all about. Let's hope that it doesn't hold that. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hold enough to stay above the board. You see how I'm doing it from the edges? Yeah. The secret of this is for it to be cold. For it to be cold. Once it's iced, water and water. Your feet sipping yeah, down. It's, 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 the attention to detail is remarkable. One, two, three, four, five. Five. You know what? I, I don't even want to touch it because right now this, <laughs> this this is awesome. I think we should go to the pictures while you still have your right. layers. So before we do this, we're just going to put the individual ones in here. Like mm -hmm. And then now I'm just going to put this in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So when we're ready, it will shoot everything. So we have finished with the smoothies. It's now time for us to shoot it. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm using a little bit of professional gear. It's not too confusing. I'm just going to take you through it. Um, first of all, we're using the soft box, which is right here. We're using a very small square soft box with a strobe attached to it. Don't be confused. Or don't be, you know, don't say, hey, the bio has started with the whole gear, gear, gear talk again. If you've got an external flash, you could also use it. So I just put this on very low power, and then I am pointing it directly on the smoothies, which is everything that is actually down here. Okay, so we have our, our camera. Our camera is practically placed on a tripod that is facing it. That is at like a 45 degree angle from the midpoint. So 45 degree pointing down. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to set the shutter speed to be around 1 25th of a second. The reason we're doing that is because we came in late for this shoot and um, we've lost light. That's even another reason that we're using strobes instead of daylight. Daylight is the best. It's always the best for food. But um, in this case, we're just going to have to use strobes. So I'm setting the shutter speed to around 1 25th of a second. And I'm also going to use uh, aperture of around f4. Now, if you notice at the back here, you realize that I've got a seamless background and then I attached a clamp to actually hold it with the, with the, ta with the tablecloth. Now, this is to make life a whole lot easier. So when we take the picture, we are seeing what we call the seamless background. And since it's all colors, it's going to pop out right in the white. Now, let's shoot. Enough talking. Let's shoot. Okay, so now that is just shooting it directly, and then as you can see that there's a little bit of shadows just underneath. That is to show that it is some sort of um, is a three-dimensional object, not something that you cut and you paste on the white background. So that is all that we're doing with the camera. 
So we're actually shot using the DSLR now. What about our phones? We're going to use our phone, our regular phone, and then we're going to take the same picture using the seamless background. Now what I'm talking about here is um, I'm going to take this phone and then just go straight to the camera app. I mean, these days, all these phones come with all sorts of gadgets. Anyway, so all sorts of apps. So I'm just going to switch over to the camera app here. Uh, one sec. Okay. And then um, we're going to shoot. So I'm going to take it from the same angle. And then, and then I'm just going to press the camera button there. And then we're done. Now, the only problem I'm having with this shot is since there's a little bit of wrinkle here, as you can see, it's, it's creasing. We don't want that. We would not want that to show in our shoot. So I'm just going to go straight to the settings. If you have a look here, I'm going to tap this button here. And then I'm going to move. Well, I'm going to go straight to the exposure value, which is the EV button here. And I'm going to like dial it up a bit to around exposure 1. Right? Now, if you notice already, it has already brightened up the picture. So, taking it from this angle. That has given it a little bit more light. Now, the only reason we're doing this is because in the studio, we have lights all over the whole place. I mean, we're surrounded with lights. That is the reason why we could use our phones. Our phones are using what we call continuous light. So daylight is continuous light. Um, your bulbs in your house is continuous light. And, that's, and since photography is all about light, that is what you use to get your pictures. Remember, you could always follow us on Instagram at 1205 photos. And uh, make sure that you try your smoothies and then you also take a picture and hashtag how to photograph. My name is Debayo. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.